do that. And there might be right. more that are getting on. I was tagging some. Oh, perfect. Good. And you know, the beautiful thing with Zoom too is that we can record it, but it's always nice if I can get, if we can do like Q and A at the end too, and just get like actual, you know, feedback with each other. So I just want to start off by saying like a full disclosure, I'm a home party girl and I have always hated Facebook parties, like loathed them. Okay. So when you, when you, and, and, and I mean that in all sense of the word, like I have literally blogged about how I think Facebook parties suck. <laughs> I don't think that they work like, like, and I have tried, like I, I tried and tried and tried and I had some that were okay. But at the end of the day, like I did not have fun doing them. I did not make money doing them. Like I just, I loathed them. I thought they were the dumbest thing ever. And I just, I'm like, nope, I'm just going to keep home party. And that's what works for me. Now, over the years, obviously I had to like learn how to do them decent for my team's sake. Like I have to be able to teach them things, but I still would say, this isn't me girls. Like, I'm going to tell you what I know and what other people do and what kind of works, but like, I don't like them. <laughs> and I kind of, I've always been like a big pusher of like your business is in front of people still like that's So I just want that. Like when you're looking at these numbers and if you've known me and you, and for those that have like been around and you followed, you're like, mm, she hits those numbers a lot. Yeah. Well, I hit them with home parties. Never, ever, ever did I hit this with Facebook parties. Um, and if I did, it was like a super exception. And I was like, oh, she was just a really good hostess. Like I was just lucky type of thing. And it really was. So the other thing that I just kind of want to like, that I, that I always um, just stress is like, I loved Jennifer yesterday where she talked a lot about um, like getting uncomfortable, trying other things. Um, and so that's kind of what I had to do. I had to pivot. Like we can't home party and I don't, are we going to home party anytime soon? Probably not. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> maybe we're going to party outside in lawn chairs. Maybe, I don't know. I don't even know what this looks like. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, if this business is going to work, I, I, I have to do this. I have to make this work like it or not. I've got to make money. And so that was my first train of thought. I can't lie with money. And I, and I knew I kind of had to throw like fun out the door maybe for a little bit. Like you just got to do this. You're going to have to put your big girl panties on and, and make this happen. And maybe eventually make it your own and make it fun. You're going to figure this out. So I also want to throw out there that like attitude is everything for me. I'm the person, like if you guys have ever watched anything that I've done, one of my other big things is clubs. And people say all of the time, like, how do you get the clubs? How do you get them all? Because I just say I'm going to. It's really that simple. Like you believe what you tell yourself. And if I, I have one person who wants a new club, I'm like, well, I guess I got to find five more. Like it's not an option. And that's the same way when we get into some of the stuff, like the battles and some of that, that's the mentality I have. Like I don't stop until I get it. I don't, I don't set myself up that it's not a possibility. But with that, I know that we're all human. So I'll give a perfect comparison still of like, we all look at people on PAC and leadership council and some of these different things. And it's so easy to say like, they're up here. Like when I want to train my team, I know that's what they do. Danielle's up here. This is her full-time job. She does this. She does that. I can't do that. And so I'm always trying to like, look at the other side of the coin and think, okay, what's, what is their version of this? So that can be good and bad because that can basically eliminate yourself. And I do that. I look at majority of the pack people. I'm going to be super honest. Some of them are my friends. They are sweethearts. But I think I don't even want to be you. You party too much. You work too much. That doesn't even look like fun. There's that word again, right? Can you guys tell them like, hi, yellow, hi, whatever number that is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember our Enneagrams anymore. But the point being is that we all do it to a certain extent. We look up and we say, we can't do that. And we judge and we have ideas in our head. And so I want to erase all of that. If anyone is looking at the numbers that I shared or knows me, like I want you to take that off the plate and pretend like you don't know me. And if you don't know me, cool. Cause you're, like, you're, you're doing, you're, you're perfect. But I want you to just think, can I do this? And can I do a different version of this? And can I do this at a different level if that's what I want? But don't come in here and just be like, no, like, like Jennifer said, you're going to have to get uncomfortable and you might hear numbers that are just like, I can't do that. I've never done that. And I want you to take that off of your mind right now. So that soapbox, none of these are really my ideas. They're all things that are 
basically, honestly, a lot of it is back to the basics. Um, there's no rocket science. It's, but I feel like I've, I've become a well-oiled machine and become consistent in areas. And I, so I want you to keep like the checkbox open. Am I doing all of these things? Like, it's very easy to be like, well, I tried a battle. It didn't work. Okay. But did you actually host this coach? Did you actually follow up? Did you do a survey? Like there's parts to it that are like important. And so I want that to be like the, the gut check for you guys when you're listening to the things that, that are working and how I truly think that they work because they're all working together. I don't think just one of them matters more than the other, or I don't think that one works without the rest of them. From, and I've been crunching the numbers. So I really feel strongly about that too. So, um, all right, so what we're going to talk about are the battle, and I'm going to try to kind of keep that brief because I did do a show up and share quite a few weeks ago, right when they started show up and share. I was like one of the first people, like first couple people. So if you haven't seen that, you're going to want to watch that and then feel free to message me in Q&A and I'll give you the nuts and bolts of it. Like I'll give you the, the easiest part of it um, and some things that are working for me and aren't working um, since maybe I've done that video too because I've done a lot of tracking. We're going to talk about hostess coaching. We got four things, the battle, hostess coaching, a survey, and follow-ups. And that's it. Those are the four things. Those are the four pieces to the puzzle. And I, like I said, they all work for each other. So I firmly believe with my preset of what I said of how I hate Facebook parties. I don't think they work. I didn't like them. I firmly believe they still don't work for one hostess. I firmly, firmly believe that. I think it is few and far between that you can have a fun party, an engaged party with lots of people working and one hostess. And some of you are going to argue, you're going to be like, I'm a Facebook queen. I do it all the time. You know what? I want, I would love to, I would love to hear that. And I would love to hear your tips if that's you, <laughs> but that is, that has not worked for me in seven years. I, I don't know. Can I get a show of hands? Like, does anybody here like a Facebook rock star that they're like doubting that? They're like, oh my God, I kill it. Yes. Okay. Which that's awesome. Cause some of you do, but I think the majority of our hostesses don't get it. And our hostess coaching really isn't that great. And so I won't ever, for me personally, I will never not do a battle again. And I will never, I have numbers of that. I will never not have less than three. And I've tweaked this a lot too. Um, so three for me is the minimum. Seven is the honey spot. And we'll talk about these numbers. Um, what I find with these numbers is that five is you know, average. Five is kind of like that shooting point, but man, if I can get six or seven, it's really good. And here's what happens. With the hostess coaching that goes along with the battles, you, you are now setting a date that has to happen. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes my hostess, like, and I go, all right, well, you want to move it in a couple days? Because she's not ready. She hasn't done everything. Does that happen to you guys do? Like, is that pretty common, right? Well, you can't do that with a battle per se. If you've got five ladies and you set a date and two of them are ready and three of them are ready and two of them aren't, and that's what happens. And that's where you're like, oh, poop, basically. Like, now I only have two ready and the magic number is three and they're doing pretty good, but I'm a little afraid. So that's where there's a couple of things that I, that I do with this mentally, basically. So I shoot for the seven because more than likely a couple of them are going to move. They're not going to be ready in time. And so then I'm getting that five, which is actually like, boom, the spot. Okay. Five, six, seven is an a, engaged, amazing party. Three is okay, but if I have less than three ready, full disclosure, I'm transparent with her and I say, I mean, sometimes I, I don't want to throw the other hostesses under the bus, so my verbiage might be, um, my calendar is actually not working right now the way I want it to and my schedule for the next few days. you mind if we push this back and start a couple of days? And then you know what happens? I book like no other to try to get more battles, more people on the, on with that battle. Or if I can, and I have another battle coming up, I might move her all the way to there. But what I'm finding is majority of the, the girls that do the hostess coaching, and we'll get there in a minute, majority, you will know out of the gate, 
after the first few days of hostess coaching her, if she's really going to do like what she needs to do or not. If she's not responding to you, but she's doing the things, that's a good indication she doesn't talk on the party. It, they go like hand in hand. If she never actually answers your questions in your hostess coaching, she's probably not going to talk on the party. There's all these little like things like this that I'm, I'm noticing that you're, you're going to want to start to read and we'll get into hostess coaching. So that's a good indication for me of like, okay, what's this party going to be like? If she was on a rocking party, she will probably be a rocking hostess. That's another thing. If she was on a party that was fun and she booked from that, she will see like her hostess because I brag about it at the end. I talk about what they all get, you know, and make sure that everybody knows like they got a hundred free, they got 200 free, whatever. She usually wants to be like her friend that she booked off too. So that's another good indication. But most of the time we're kind of blind. I mean, I don't know about you guys. But most of the time I'm getting new hostesses. Sometimes they're repeat parties. And if they are, <laughs> if they're repeat Facebook parties, I already told you guys at the beginning, my Facebook parties suck. So <laughs> they aren't any good. So those are some key numbers that I want you to think about. Seven for me is the honey spot because that is room for a couple to drop out. Some of you have asked, um, well, how, what is your verbiage? How are you getting them into the battle? It's not a choice. Um, I'll share my hostess coaching with you guys um, and I'll read it to you really quick. So they have the first message is about thanking them and how my parties work. It's a five and a half day party. We'll get into that in a minute too. Um, the second one is great. She picked your date. You know, also double checking. Do you have four to five days prior to the party to um, do some easy tasks? But we're going to have to, you know, it's all the inviting, all that. Number three, I get her information, make sure I can set up a party link. Message number four. So this is the fourth message. See how we just quickly went through those three and those don't take long, right? Those are right away. She booked the party and you're doing message number four. My parties are, and you don't need to write this down. Just kind of hear it out because I'll share this with you guys. My parties are so stinking fun and people need fun. I'm going to do your, your party as a battle of the hostesses. So there will be a few hostesses in the party. This is a win-win for everyone. Number one, the more people participating, the better for everyone. Facebook algorithms will put it in front of everyone better. The more participation, the better for all of the parties. This means bigger hostess benefits for you. Number two, it will also help keep, keep, keep us all out of Facebook jail. Yes, this is a real thing. I've been there and none of us want to be there again. Number three, the hostess with the biggest party also gets a prize from me. And I know that JP talked a little about prizes and not prizes. And I'll give you my two cents on that one too in a little bit. Now, the number one concern all hostesses ask is how will my friends and family know how to order? I promise, and I put promise in all caps, they will know. I am constantly having them tag their hostess and asking if they need little links. It works, I promise. I've been doing parties like this off and on for a few years, and I've truly found that they are much more successful. And then I say, are you ready to be the top hostess for the biggest party? And they just answer, yes, they're excited. That's it. I don't give them a choice. So don't overthink it. Don't think that you have to like explain. And if this is new to you, then your verbiage in there somehow it is, you know, I've got this new way to party. I've got some accountability partner, partners, some other leaders doing it successfully. And this is, this is what I'm, you know, I'm, this is what I'm doing this season. It's just, you've got to have that confidence. And I know that you guys know that that's kind of more of like when we're teaching our teams too, but just a good reminder. Um, okay. Um, so Danielle, yeah, can I, can I just quickly ask you two questions? Absolutely. Um, so first off, are you saying you're getting seven hostesses <clears throat> in one party? Yes. Girl, that I haven't crazy. had seven hostesses. I know. In my I know. And that's my next thing. That's perfect. Do you have another question? Okay, good. Then I'll, good, because I'll I was going to ask that. you that. And then my second thing is, have you ever had anybody kind of push back about like, I don't want to do a battle of the hostess. I haven't. I'm waiting okay, for it cool. because I'm waiting for her. Yeah. I'm sure she's out there, but I haven't. And my backup plan for her is to explain to her that, you know, as much as I can ask, get her concerns, see what I can do. Try to keep her that way. My backup plan that I will only do is a party and a post. If I don't do my party this way, the only other option I will do at this point is a party in the post and I'll go live and I'll explain to her it's a 15 minute party and then I'm going to do a little live or something like that. I am not wasting my time anymore to do giant, to do these big parties for one hostess. I'm, I'm, just, I'm not. I refuse. I'm not. <laughs> That's Wait, my attitude. Can I just clap you real quick? 
Yeah. And I mean, yeah. and, and the proof is in the pudding. You guys saw my numbers. Like that is all I've been doing since the end of February. I, I've, I've partied one time a week. I've overlapped once. I just did an overlap for an experiment and that was for numbers sake. So I'll explain how, how that kind of worked. But most of the time it's just one party going. I do a five and a half day party and there's no way in heck you're getting me to do that for multiple hostesses. There's no way you're getting me to stress about Facebook jail and cent share or no cent share and just all of that, like done, done with that. <laughs> so back to your thing, Crystal, I'm not sure if you were on right away, but were you on at the beginning when I talked about, when I was talking about my note? Yeah, that's okay. And so I'll repeat it a little bit. I'm so part. sorry. No, 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 you're fine because it's actually my next note. It's okay. It's really a confidence thing. Like I talked about at the beginning, like, like JP said, you've got to try something new and you've got to just tell yourself, I'm going to get seven. I'm going to push for seven hostesses. My girlfriend who's not on here, my director underneath me, for those of you that know Heather Beard, she has not partied like this whole time. She's a teacher like you, Rochelle. She's been so busy doing her own teacher thing and her kids are at home doing school. She took, she's just kind of like done the bare minimum. So she posted the other day. She literally said, I have this new way to party. I need six hostesses. I'm pretty pleased. Who will help me out? And three jumped on. Like, get it going with something like something like that. And we're going to talk about the survey. We're going to talk about ways to get other people because I know you ladies have people to tap into. I know you do. But I also want to treat this like our team. And we know they're going to say, oh, I don't have, you know, I don't have people. They're going to say the same thing. So that's my attitude with that. I am a just like, you've got to do it. You've got to tell yourself for the first one, especially this is what you've got to start playing with the numbers. You know what I mean? Your numbers might look different than me. Your hostesses might look different than me, but those are the numbers I'm finding doing them week after week. Okay. I do not think it matters what type of party you do. I think your party has to be you. I think it could be a one hour party. I think it could be a one day party. I think it could be a five day party, a weekday party. I really don't think that matters. The hostess coaching is what matters and the party has to be you. Now I do a five and a half day party and most people are gonna look at my party and say, holy cow, that is so many posts. It's so much stuff. That's too, too much. But most people will say the same thing about my home party. They match. I'm the girl that brings all the product to the party. I know that's taboo for some. That's what works for me. That's my personality. That's who I am. I'm the girl that talks too long in the presentation of my home party. And I used to, I, I do. I mean, you guys, if you haven't, can't tell by now, listen to me. <laughs> and I, I had to finally tell myself, I don't care. It's okay. That's who I am. And it's working. I'm not going to change that. But you can't be me either. You can't do my five and a half day party or my long presentation at a home party if that's not you. If you're short, sweet, simple, show a bundle, show this to the point, then that's your party. And I really, really don't think it matters what the party is. I really don't. I don't think my party is any different than anybody else's. Yes, Rochelle. Okay, so um, this is what I've been wrestling with and I've tried lots of different things with the face, traditional Facebook party right. that I'm so sick of like you are. Um, my averages are just so much lower than the home party. But anyway, um, oh, I'm going to have a brain burp because I led up to it. Oh, okay. So in your five and a half day party, what I debate is, and what I don't understand, like when I look at the total party script and I'm just like out there brainstorming, um, how many times do you go live? Does the party lead up to where all those people and you just do one, like it's a home party and you're in your little set and you do the home party and it's live and all those ladies come at that time. Okay. So here's where I'm going to have to be super transparent. <laughs> <laughs> I've not even been going live and I love to go live love it but I hate the setup I hate setting everything up going live the anticipation the time I'm not I'm I, I the reason I love this job is for the flexibility I don't want to punch a clock anymore I hate that I say I'm going live at 8 30 and 8 o'clock comes around and I go I don't want to go live at 8 30 why didn't I do it at 7 30 I'm done now so there was that part of it and there was, I'll be super honest, I'm through this hump, but 
in the midst of the beginning of all of this, like most of March and a little bit of April, I also knew I wasn't going to be myself. I wasn't going to be fun. I was dealing with dep depression and anxiety and everything that's happening right now. I just couldn't get myself to go live. I just, I came up with excuses on top of it all. Now <laughs> I'm actually like, well, I'm not going live and it's working. So <laughs> why do I have to? <laughs> so I'm not recommending that. I'm really not because I know when I train my team and teach my team, I'm going to say, you need to go live. I'm going to. Um, but right now I haven't been, and it's working still. Like my posts are just working. I'm just, it's again, I think it's the hostess coaching. I really do. Their participation is just up so much on my parties because the hostess is tagging and participating and commenting and treating it just like their inner home. And so when you see my hostess coaching, you'll see I stress that over and over and over again. I, I literally have like little videos that I make and I send them like, don't be awkward. Don't be the person that just likes it. Because here's an example, like this is my video that's got my hostess coaching part of it is I say to her like liking, liking your post is like this. If someone walks into your house and she's at your regular party, and she says, oh my gosh, I really like that bag. Is that one yours? And you go, <laughs> that's liking a post, right? Weird. <laughs> and so I make a video like that. Like I have a little video sometimes that I make that explains that to her, especially if that's what she's doing, you know? And I make fun and I say, it's normal. We all do it. We all like, we all heart. But you've really got to treat this party like they're in your home. And you've really got to say, hey, so-and-so. I know you've got a new baby here. Like, look at this, you know? And so I really think that's what matters. Now live is definitely not going to hurt your party. I mean, there, it, there's just no way around it. Do I need to be incorporating it more? Yes. But my whole point is don't overthink your party. I really, you really don't need to overthink it. You need to just do, there's scripts out there. Like JP said, there's Terry Childers script is, is great. That is part of my party. And I have other people's that I've, that have shown me theirs and I just like use all of it and made it my own. And, and I put albums on my business page and I share those and I'm using Shint Share again, by the way, for those of you that have been skeptical, it's working when you just have one party a week and you're using it for just a few things. So it's all an autopilot. It's all just going and it's all my personality. And you can see my party. I will share a party. You guys are, I, I'll either make a mock one or I'll throw you in one. Like, and you feel free to use it all or make it your own. And you know, I know you guys know the, you know, not get us all in jail and all of that and use it, but you'll, you'll see, it's just, it's, it's just a bunch of posts. And, and I, every day I talk about booking and recruiting and my club and fundraisers and the special, like every day, those things are there. And then there's all kinds of other things for them to see. All right. By the way, I, I, I think we'll get cut off and we might have to make a new one. So I'm just going to announce that now I haven't gotten the like notice for the timer, but I don't pay for zoom. And so I'm sure at some point it's probably going to yell at me maybe and tell me, oh no, I just uh lost my note. Danielle. Yeah. Last night I did bingo with a group of ladies and now it, like, keep going? Minutes, it well, no, it, it removed us. And all we did is went back to the original link mm -hmm. Yeah. and it let okay. you go right back in. And then Perfect. I think you have another 40 minutes. So if we okay. get booted off, just so go if back that in. happens, that's our plan then. Uh, and it will warn me, won't it? Doesn't it tell me that like some, that it's coming? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when I get the warning, I just know I talk a lot and, and we get on these little side things. And this is perfect. That's why I wanted to zoom because I knew you guys would have questions. Okay. I just, can, Danielle, can I ask you a quick question? Absolutely. Cause I you said that questions. you, um, every day you post on the four things and I heard it and then I went to write it and it was out of my brain. Already. Yeah, it's <laughs> just your basics. So it's, I always have something for booking, something for recruiting, something on my club something on, and I just call it the club. If you've not done my club training, that's the whole other training I can give you okay. something on fundraisers. Cause I'm really, I have a lot of fun. I do really a lot with fundraisers and I want that known and something with the special. Those Perfect. are on basically every day. Thank um, you. Yep. And then there's all kinds of other games and all the, the normal fun things, you know, all the things basically. I, I play around with the ones that they like and it seemed to engage in and, and that sort of thing. So do you do less on products? Cause I know a lot of the scripts, it's like product post, this type of product, this type of product. I do a lot of product actually. You do. Okay. Dude, so in addition makes, to all that. That's what makes the party so long. That's why I, the, my personality can't pick and choose. I don't want to just show totes. 
and purses and call it good. Like my personality is, I want to show all the things I want. We have so much to offer. And this is, so that's a great question because this is something I wanted to mention you guys and I don't think this is in my notes, is that what I'm finding too with my style, per, like personally, is that those that want to shop, like those that are like, this is too many posts and I don't like this, they just shop. They shop the first couple of days and they tune out. They don't do the party and that's okay. And those that shop sometimes still keep watching and they're like, oh, and they order again. Or they realize I like a lot and I want to party. Or there's those that wait and they don't shop to the end and they actually just like the party and they watch it all. So the point being is there's all those different people and it works still. Some of them don't want to do the party. They ask for the link out of the gate. You know, and you, you get that all the time. I don't care if it's an hour party. They don't want to waste an hour watching you. You know, they don't know you. They don't care. It's the same with the home party. I get girls that I do the presentation. I can tell they're not paying attention. They checked out. I mean, I'm kind of that girl that's like, yes, you're going to pay attention to me. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, you get those people. So it's the same way with my party. And that's how I finally had to just be okay with it and look at it too. That like, they're either going to just get bored and or annoyed and just say, can I blink? Can I have the link, please? And you're like, yeah, here's the special. Go order, go have fun, you know? But I think I'm booking more parties because it's the same way I feel about my home parties. I'm booking parties because they see it all and they think, I do like all of this. I do want to organize my house too. And I do have presents to buy and all that. So I, I personally think that works. But I, I also think our parties work. Like I, I don't think it, I really don't think it matters. I think it matches. I think what matters is that it matches your personality because then you're going to like it more too. And you're going to, you're going to want to do things with it. And you know, yeah, back yeah. to the life. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you're fine. Um, so is the five and a half day, the sweet spot for you? Is that what you found it, it, for me right now? And, and that's just because that's what I built and that's what I did and it's working. So I'm not messing with it basically. Right. Because that's I'm another finding, thing besides the live question is um, when finding the sweet spot for the number of days. And I think you basically said it because I don't know where I was reading some other training that if it goes too long, the um, customers just check out. They're just yep. like, mm -hmm. I get and on my so Facebook and I see 20 notifications. I'm out. Right. Right. So, so what I'm finding is. The half day is my pre-post day. That's why I call it a half day. I don't let them in generally until the evening, maybe early afternoon, just kind of depends on how my hostesses are ready, how many people are need to be let in. I wait, I wait before I let them in. And I have the pre-post that night. So there's like five posts in there already, and then there's like five more that go that night. That day and then day one are generally the crazy days. Those are the days that everyone's engaged. They all see they can win a prize if they participate and they're just, they're participating like crazy. By day two, most of them are participating, but it's a little less scarce. And then yes, by three, four and five, it slows down, but you still see the people who want to win or who genuinely love the product and they just keep commenting and they keep, and they keep, you know, posting and doing things. But the people who, who maybe were excited at first still order at the end. They might have checked out of the party, and I'm okay with that. They, but I, in my hostess coaching, she's messaging all the people she ever invited, whether they were in the party or not, and there's a message for each person. So I don't worry about it. I know that she still wanted to come to the party, and that's a warm lead. She wanted somehow to be here, so I don't, I don't focus. I mean, there are some people that look at my party. I guarantee, oh, we've got 10 minutes, just so we know. There are, there are plenty of people. I'm sure if you went to the gurus, the, they're not the people anymore, but who are the ladies that partied in their van and all of that, all those, the people that you can pay for trainings. Yeah. Um, they would say my party's too long. They would say it's too much. So that's the part that I'm not here to tell you. Like, I'm just telling you what's working for me right now. Like, this is what I'm doing and this is what's working for me. Hey, Danielle. Yeah. Um, I typically do five, five to six day parties as well. So like, I would agree that's a sweet spot. Like, I feel like I just get more out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, but how, like when you're talking posts, like about how many posts do you do? Cause I do probably 30 to 40 a day, you know, total, not a day, uh, <laughs> a party, you're you know? Laugh. So are you you're talking like maybe a hundred, you know? <laughs> Shannon's on here. How many do you, do you know how many I have? Because <laughs> I sent it to you in Censure. Did you pay attention? It's a lot. Okay, I'll tell you the time frames I do. 
So I think it's about 13, 14, sometimes 15 a day. I generally do eight, 10, 12, two, four. And then I do five, six, seven. And then I do 7, 38, 8, 39, 9, 30, 10. Mm -hmm. So I really hit them in the evening when they're really commenting more. And the daytime ones tend to be more of the games and just the visual look at the products where the evening more is kind of more on my nuts and bolts. Like, okay, now you've seen all these products. Here's some stuff on the, the hostess exclusives, that sort of thing. I've kind of played around with that. And again, I don't feel like I'm a pro. I'm not here to tell you like what I think the, the perfect party is. I just know I, that's what I played around with and it's worked. So I'm just rolling with mm -hmm. it. So okay. I'm, glad to, I'm glad to hear someone else agrees. I'm glad, Andrea, that you yeah. know, that's like your spot too, because it is like I, for me. I've been doing probably five to six Facebook parties a month. And I'm the same way. Like I'm tired of doing one every single week. It's oh, like, oh my God. Your five to six parties should just be one. Like, right, that's it. right. That's it. That's all you should be doing. Think of all the time you'd have for training and doing stuff with your team and other things or more parties like that. Yeah. Is it. Yeah, but I have seen an increase in my parties as well right. since like you know your party works. So you right. know for a reason that you've got to just try this. You have to. Okay. Got um, it. <laughs> I have nothing else I want to talk about with the party unless you guys have questions because I really like I said I didn't even really want to talk about the party. I don't I don't believe that that is what that my party is a magical party. I really don't. You all can use it, but I don't feel that way. What I believe in is that none of this matters if you don't host this coach. I don't care how good your party is. You can have, you could have paid $500 from the biggest pros for your party. And if you don't host this coach, it doesn't matter. It, it's throw it out the door. It doesn't matter. And you're going to look at my hostess coaching. Has anybody looked at it already? Has anybody seen where I've shared it a couple places? It's 14 pages. It's overwhelming. People laugh at me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I saw her whole size. <laughs> You know what? Not because um, not because I'm like, oh my gosh, but I just I have wanted to grow in hostess coaching for a really long time, and I'm in my head. I'm like, why have I not seen that? Where is it? Is it in the files in the house? Oh, no, it's just been like here and there. People have I might have posted it just outright one time, but I've had conversations with people on different things, and I've posted it. But I will gladly post it. You know, I I will share That'd it with awesome. you guys. Because I have found, like, I've done a little bit more this last month, and I do feel like, obviously, my parties are better when I give her action steps and I tell her exactly what to do. I just need to do it on a bigger scale. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is. And again, I can't take credit for all of this. I had several people that had shared with me different hostess coaching things, and I sat for hours one day putting them all in, in word and, and, and moving things around and okay, I like her verbiage better and, and at the timing of this. And then I had to actually put it into practice. And so week after week while I've been using it, I'm like, Oh, this one was too late. By the time I tell her this, she should have already done it or, or whatever. Does that make sense? Like I'm constantly like, I kept moving things and figuring out an order. And I do, I, this is the first I've ever felt too, Crystal, that I'm like doing hostess coaching and doing it well and have lots of tasks, but not too many, like not overwhelming. 14 pages sounds overwhelming, but here's the breakdown. This is why it really isn't. Once you get good at this, like I have 18 parties on the books for June right now, and I have already started hostess coaching all of them. So while it sounds like 14 steps, four of those are 14 pages, like one page at least, the first four steps are done because I had to do it out of the gate when I booked your party. Then like, two weeks or like, so that's my two weeks before. Then one week before we're going to start the gradual ones and we're not going to overwhelm her every day. She's going to, you know, she's going to make her list and then she's going to do this and she's going to do that. By the time she gets to the party, it's simple. The pre post day and the post day, again, it's overwhelming. And I say that in there. I say, I promise these are the busy days. We've got, I've got like just a couple more tasks for you today, but I promise we're just going to have fun in the party soon and that sort of thing. So you'll see that in my hostess coaching, but Again, my hostess coaching matches my personality. You may read it. It's not you. you. You know, some of the steps might not be you. Some of the verbiage might not be you. I joke. It's not in the hostess coaching, but very often I'm joking with the hostess that because they'll say something like your personality is so fun. And I'll be like, well, fun's a good way ex to explain it. Cause usually I get like kind of crazy kind of, you know, <laughs> and so they see that, but I'm okay with that again, because 
they they start that's me like that's who i am now if you're not a 14 page person and you're not a talker like then no you might not want to do all of these steps but they're working that's the thing everything i'm having her do is working and i'm getting her bragging about me in the party at the end i am getting her not only thanking me but actually bragging about how much i helped her and how what all i did for her and i'm like cool like I figured you think I was obnoxious and I made you work really hard and did too much, but she's seeing, she's seeing her hostess benefits. I'm my numbers, you know, are way up on Facebook parties, but my average is 700 and I've had several over a thousand. I've only had one so far under 500. She hit 300 and I've not had a single flop and ladies before I was lucky if they got $200 and they didn't just flop. Those were my Facebook parties. That's why I loathed them. That's why I hated them. Because if I could just get her to 200, I was like, I made $50 off of all of this. Like, stop it. This is awful. Just get me to the home party, please. Like, that's why I would not waste my time on Facebook parties before and why they were terrible. And now I'm like, money talks. This is, this can be fun. <laughs> if I'm going to make this money, this is fun. Like, right? That's how it works. Like, let's be honest. And I am ha truly having fun because I'm finding with the hostess coaching too, that's the fun. I'm actually like having, a, then we're having a longer conversation most of the time and we're, and I'm learning about her and I'm building that relationship and I'm doing what fills my cup by talking to someone because look at, that's me. I like to talk. Two minutes. Okay. Uh, let me see what I got next and then maybe let's. Um, Anything else quickly, on I did find, sorry, Danielle, I did find oh, your coaching script in the pink bubble or in our huddle page, not pink bubble, um, yes. on May 2nd. Okay. And I might post it again because it might be updated from that. And I don't know if it shows you the updated version. I think that's pretty close to true because May 2nd wasn't too long ago, but I'm constantly tweaking it. So I'll definitely share the newest one. Does anybody have any other questions with, with hostess coaching before we move on? Without just looking at focus on. Sorry, I'm a talker too. All right. Um, this is probably a stupid question, but are you hosting no them questions. all in one message? No. Uh, so that's another thing. When JP, okay. When JP okay. said that, like to each their own, but when she said that, I was like, oof, no. I, I personally hate group messages, so no, I don't do that. And I really think, I think you'd hinder yourself because they all work at a different pace. And as much as I want the battle to be a little competitive, and, and I, we'll talk about that too, and I want them to play off of each other, some will just shut out if they see they get too behind and somebody else is doing, okay, one minute, and somebody else is doing more than them or whatever. And some of them will just not want to read all these other people and all of their stuff. I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't suggest that personally. Not not for the, the amount of hostess coaching that I'm doing. No, no. Nope. <laughs> okay, it's going to cut us off. Let's log off here and log right back on, ladies, okay? <laughs>